In this episode of Toys Bag Zen, I'm going to show you the techniques that I've learned to create really fine lines with paint and a paintbrush. You can do this with acrylic paint or oil paints, whether it's doing customs or restoring your vintage beat up figures, these techniques work. So stick around. The important part about doing this is having a fine brush and holding it as close to the tip as possible on the handle of the brush. You want the paint to be really thinned out quite a bit with water or if you're using oil paints you can use spirits to thin out your paint. And you want to just be able to use the very very tip of the brush to create these fine lines as fine as a mechanical tipped pencil or a ballpoint pen. Now, the trick here is trying to make curves without having too much of a heavy line from one side of the curve to the other. Once you get the paint on the paintbrush too, you want to make sure that you run the tip against a piece of paper just to take any excess paint off. As you can see here, my painted letters are as fine as pen or a mechanical pencil. So let's get into doing this. I've got a police academy figure here, and I've been wanting to have him in my collection for a while, but his logo is just in really bad shape, so you can hardly tell what it is. Now his action feature does work. We are going to have to paint some white and some brown for his skin color and perhaps some of the red on his bandana and some black for his hair. First I'm going to get this guy cleaned up. He's really dirty. His action feature still works which is awesome. So let's get him cleaned up and we can start painting him. I'm going to mix up some black Vallejo paint and some Deco Art satin blue paint to try to get the color for the logo. We're going to mix those up to create a navy blue paint. The paint on his chest is about the same color as his pants, so we want to get this paint matched to that color, and then we can start our painting. Now, when you're doing these fine lines, you want to make sure you're using a lot of water. You want this paint to be thinned out so much, almost like the consistency of milk. And then also you want to make sure that every time you dip your brush into the paint that you're twirling the paintbrush so that the bristles stick together at the tip. And also you're, you're pulling the excess paint off of the tip of the bristles. Let's compare and make sure that the color is the shade that I want and I think that looks pretty good. So here I've got a picture of the figure here. I'm going to use this as my template on the iPad in front of me and we're going to get started with this. I have practiced on how to do this for probably a couple hours in the last couple weeks just trying it here and there and uh, I feel like I've had enough practice that I can do this. Now you'll notice my paintbrush will go off the camera and that's just me dipping it into the water very often as I'm trying to make these fine lines. You want to make sure that you're holding the brush really close to the bristles of the paintbrush. I got a smaller bristle brush here that I was using in my practices and I'm hoping that this will help me create those fine lines. So sit back, relax, let's watch and see if we can get this logo back into shape and hopefully this will help you create your own customs or rejuvenating some old figures.
Wow, this is coming together really nicely. Now, I have made some mistakes, and that's okay. You can take a toothpick and go along where you've made some mistakes and just scrape that paint off. Some people use metal or uh, an X-Acto knife to do that, but I don't want to scratch the, the plastic because the plastic is kind of yellowed a little tiny bit, and I don't want to make super white lines where I'm scraping the paint off. I want the plastic to stay the same color. So I'm just going to use some toothpicks and the toothpicks work really well. You'll see at the end of this video after I make all my lines even finer with scraping some of the paint off and you'll see how that comes together. I also darkened some of my lines here after the paint on the top has dried a little bit and I just darkened them up a little bit because we are doing acrylic and it's super thin acrylic paint on plastic so sometimes the lines can seem uh, a little thin so letting that dry and then putting another thin line over top of the line will darken up and crisp up those edges. The paint they used on these figures, especially on the skin and the hair and the shoes, are almost like a matte finish. So I've just used some brown and a little bit of black, mix that up. The brown on the head is a little bit darker than on the arms, so be aware of that. If you're going to do the arms and the head, you're going to want to have two different shades of brown. And that's what I was doing here, is I was using the the brown for the face which matched really well but didn't quite match for the elbows so I redid that. We've got some black here for the hair. Now the shoes are like a matte white and they're pretty white compared to how old this figure is so I just stuck with the white that I have it's the Vallejo white it's a little too bright but it's okay it seems to once it dried actually it tended to blend in really well with the white that were already on them And the deco art red that I have is an exact match to this red. So that is really nice that you don't have to mix some colors up. I always like that when the colors are exactly the same as the colors that you want to match. Uh, it takes a lot of time out of it. After taking some time and making my lines a little cleaner and using my toothpick to scrape, 
I also put a varnish over the logo so that the logo doesn't wear away again and I think this figure looks fantastic it doesn't have any of the accessories but that's fine I think I got him for three or four dollars in a junk bin at a toy show one time so I'm really happy to have him in my collection I think he looks fantastic and I have five other figures from this line that I have in my collection and they're in pretty great shape so now he will fit in great with them so thanks for watching this episode of Toys Back Zen. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you've already subscribed, I thank you very much. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of this technique. Do you have any other ideas for me that maybe I could try? And stay tuned to the next video. See you later. Mm -hmm.